one of the people who attended her church, she's a pastor's wife, um, actually posted on Facebook, please pray for my pastor's wife. And we saw that post. And so you saw the post and, and how did you connect, Jay? Well, I had always had a, a stirring or a pulling to do a television show or some type of um, you know, film or video content about end of life issues. Because I felt like as a Christian person, um, the story could be told in a beautiful way, even a holy way. And, and so we as Christians um, have that hope of heaven and we don't see the world, or we don't see the afterlife, afterlife like the world does, we see it differently. So I wanted to address that topic, as morbid it maybe as that sounds, but I felt like if it was done correctly, it could be a beautiful thing. And um, no one had, had done that. I felt like it was missing. Hmm. Um, and that's, yeah. So I saw that Facebook post and I reached out to Kara and said, you know, would you be interested in this? And Kara is just such an amazing person. Um, she was very gracious and said, I'd love to do that. And she's enthusiastic and fun, even as she was suffering and eventually dying. Mm. She was still so much fun, just a, a, a joy to be around. And, and she opened up her world and let us come into that. And actually, Kara did a lot of vlogs on her own, and she called herself a desperate oversharer. Mm. And if you knew Kara Tippett, you knew that that was said in a very playful way. Mm -hmm. uh, she just loved sharing her story, but not in a look at me kind of a way. It was more like, I want to point to Jesus and share my story. If my story can help one person, it's worth sharing about. Mm. And so, when you had the opportunity to connect with Kara, how, how far in advance of her death was that, Jay? It was only a few months, so um, we, we kind of came in at the end of the, her journey. But the amazing thing is, is this film or movie is kind of like a patchwork quilt, is what my wife says. It takes some old interviews from other types of um, Kara's own footage, like her cell phone footage that she gave us, um, her own vlogs. She did some other interviews that we, uh, she gave us the footage for. And then we also filmed her professionally um, several times in several trips. So it's kind of a mix, but it's very raw. So when you follow along with this movie, um, you feel like you're right there with her because you are. Mm. Jay and Sophia Lyons joining us today. It's National Religious Broadcasters 2019 Proclaim 19. Faith Radio in the Meeting House with our broadcast center in the exhibit hall. Well, let's talk about the, the message. It's very intriguing to me, Jay, when you talked about the, the desire you had to share a, a film about end-of-life issues. And that is a subject that can be very delicate, can mm -hmm. be sensitive. You even run the risk of being misunderstood. So, Sophia, as you got to know Kara, as you really experienced her life and her story, what did you learn? about her that really kind of enabled you to, to tell the story in the way you wanted? A couple of things. I learned that uh, Kara lived intentionally in community with other people. Kara shared about her suffering, but she also opened her home and um, had, I think it was her husband who built a long, long, long table because they wanted more and more people to be able to fit around that table mm. and was hospitable, but not in a, my house has to be a perfect kind of way, but more like, hey, come on over, you know, gra let's grab dinner together. So she lived in community, which I really found to be inspirational. So I think a lot of people in today's world uh, we're so busy and we don't live in community and there's a million reasons why but I learned that about her I learned that she was intentional with her words. she was very kind she spoke words of kindness she was extremely uplifting encouraging of others she was other others focused One and so we wanted to kind of bottle up her essence because if you met Kara you thought oh this is my new best friend she loves oh. me you know she made everybody feel that way it's it, even though it's a movie about suffering um, there's so many other lessons that we learned and that Kara, even though she, she died and one of her goals was to die well, but she taught mm -hmm. us how to live well. Mm -hmm. So not Absolutely. only did she live in community and kindness, but she lived in love. One of the things she said that touched me was allow Jesus to love you so much that that love spills onto others, whether it's your neighbor, uh, your child's teacher, your coworker. And I thought, what does the word allow mean? Like, of course I would allow you know, God to love me. But really, when you think about it, God's love doesn't change. It's how much we receive. She said, allow God to love you so much that that love over, overflows and spills onto another. 